And welcome back. Big changes are coming to Mission Bay, and it could have a major impact on the only waterfront camping in San Diego. Camp land on the bay could be moving to a different location and shrinking considerably. This is part of the city of San Diego's effort to create more marshland in the area. KOSI's Dan Plant joins us live from Camp Land. And uh, Dan, uh, the timing's pretty critical here on this one, huh? Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow is a big deadline. It is the final day to actually comment on the environmental impact report, which has been done over the past 45 days. And yes, there are a couple of sides here. We have the environmentalists who basically want to turn most of this into marshland, where you can see those young ladies with their boats. And then camp land itself, where I'm standing right now, would move over to where that green fence is, where the mobile home park used to be. This obviously is a big, big change. Things are not etched in stone at this point they're still looking at it but tomorrow is the deadline and after that they'll start getting serious about getting shovels in the ground and changing things out here but this is part of the climate action plan you know the climate action plan over at san diego 2035 is this magic date to make everything carbon free well anyway that is the date uh and you know, they're trying to do what they can to obviously clean the environment and clean the water out here. So we have two sides that are very passionate, and we got a chance to catch up with both of them today. Here's what they had to say. It's one of those rare gems that you won't find anywhere else in San Diego. Waterfront camping with all the amenities. Camp Land is probably the only urban campground in America next to a big city. You don't find it anywhere. The convenience factor, the family fun factor. Unfortunately, after more than 50 years on Mission Bay's De Anza Cove, that family fun factor could be changing dramatically. The city is redoing the Mission Bay master plan, and the number of campsites could be reduced big time. It depended upon who you talk to. They're saying 35 to 50 percent reduction in campsites. It's crazy. You know, you this place was, and I think it still is, the number three revenue contributor to San Diego. Why would you throw the baby out with the bathwater? Since the year 1969, this place has been an oasis for generations of families who either didn't want to stay at or couldn't afford the surrounding hotels. Many of these families coming back year after year, creating the phrase, raised in camp land. Oh, personally, every year we come back in November after a road trip across the country, and we're like, Oh, we're going to see our friends again. We're going to see our local family again. We're going to be able to do all of the things that we have enjoyed doing here. My husband and I skate, we bike, we kayak. But like everything in life, the times are changing. In this case, the city says they're trying to reach their climate action goals with something they call the De Anza Natural Plan. This would create hundreds of new acres of marshland as environmentalists have been pushing for years. The city has released its own wetland restoration proposal for the northeast corner of Mission Bay and we feel that it, it doesn't necessarily have the volume of wetlands that we really need to see to ensure that we have uh, carbon sequestration, cleaner water, greater climate resiliency and that opportunity for expanded recreation. Right now there are three different versions of the De Anza natural plan being considered. All of them include hundreds more acres of marshland. Even though the environmental groups want even more marshland, they also realize the value of camp land. It's vital. We have to have low-cost camping options here in Mission Bay. That's part of the Mission Bay experience. And when you consider the fact that it's been around for over 50 years, we want to, in fact, uh, there are state grants uh, that are highlight and prioritize low-cost camping options. There's a lot of folks who live here in San Diego who've never been here. While camp land on the bay will likely survive in some fashion, it might have to pick up and move to a different location on the cove when camp land becomes marshland, a legacy that certainly will be hard to duplicate. One of the things that we like, because we do staycations here all the time, is the fact that once you come through the gate, your stress just falls off of you, and it's like you step back in time. Amen to that. And and it is true. When you drive in the gates, it's like uh, it's like driving into Mayberry, you know, because like all the kids are in the streets with their bicycles. They got their scooters. The parents don't have any concerns. It really is a nice little oasis. And what Sean is showing you right now is the green fence. That is where apparently the all, you know, this operation will be moving. That used to be the mobile home park. There were a couple of hundred mobile homes there and they lived there for a long time, like 50 years, uh, finally has been scraped. And that land has been reclaimed by the city of 
San Diego, and they're probably going to hand it over to folks at Camp Land on the Bay so they can move over there. And this area where I'm standing right now essentially will become marshland. They'll carve this all out. They'll let the water come up and seep in here because originally that's the way this whole area was. In fact, this, this bay goes all the way back to Juan Cabrillo, where they called it the Invisible Bay because it only filled up when the rivers would flow. Anyway, they finally carved it out in the 1940s and made the largest aquatic water playground in America, by the way. Did you know that? Bigger than Bush Gardens? Bigger than any of that stuff. So, yes, tomorrow is the deadline for comment on the EIR. However, beyond that, there's going to be workshops. There are going to be meetings. There's going to be all kinds of input from all kinds of people. And this is not going to happen. You know, this is a government job. This is not going to happen very fast. This will go through all of the loops, all the hoops, all the hurdles. And eventually, like I said at four, this is one of those rare opportunities where the city of San Diego ha actually has an opportunity to make everybody happy. You can create a certain amount of marshland. You can create a certain amount of campsites. There's enough room for everybody out here. So somewhere down the middle, a compromise will be made. And you know, they say the art of compromise is when both sides are unhappy. In this particular case, maybe the art of compromise is making both sides happy. Wouldn't that be lovely? We're at Camp Land, you guys. Throw it back to you. Now you're just talking crazy, Dan, about both sides being happy. I mean, where do you get these lofty goals, young man? I know. Uh, I know, I know. I know. It's, 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 uh, it's hopeful is what it is. It's, uh, I always hold out hope. I look around me, I lose hope, but then I go back inside and I still have hope. All right, Dan. Well, we're going to follow your lead on that one. Thank you, sir. <laughs>